It is estimated that the Earth is over four and a half billion years old, and that modern humans have been walking the face of it for around 200,000 years. The geography of our planet has shaped the population patterns, available resources, industries, cultures, and nearly every facet of human activity during those 200,000 years. Geography is a study of the physical features of the Earth and how they affect the humans who call the planet home. Physical features include landforms like valleys, mesas, mountains, deserts, volcanoes, and canyons, along with water forms like lakes, rivers, and oceans. To pinpoint locations on Earth, geographers use either relative location or absolute location. Relative location is where a place is located in relation to another place. For example, the treasure is located around the rock, through the palm tree forest and near the open clearing. Absolute location is the precise point where a place is located on Earth. To find absolute locations on Earth, a geographer uses imaginary lines called latitude and longitude. Lines of latitude circle the Earth from east to west, while the lines of longitude circle the Earth from north to south. Geographers measure latitude and longitude in degrees. Each degree of latitude is about 69 miles, or 111 kilometers. Degrees of longitude work a bit differently. The lines converge at the poles and are widest at the equator, with a distance of approximately 69 miles, or 111 kilometers at that point. Lines of latitude and longitude intersect at right angles at the equator. The equator is the line of latitude that divides the Earth into the northern and southern hemispheres. At zero degrees latitude, all locations north of the equator are written as n number of degrees. All locations south of the equator are written as s number of degrees. Lines of longitude begin at the prime meridian, which divides the Earth into eastern and western hemispheres. At zero degrees longitude, all locations east of the prime meridian are written as e number of degrees. All locations west of the prime meridian are written as w number of degrees. People are using the lines to crisscross the world every day. Ships and airplanes need to use the coordinates to navigate the oceans and skies, while travelers use the lines of longitude and latitude to find specific landmarks. You can use the lines of longitude and latitude in your own community to go geocaching to find treasures hidden where you least expect it. Studying geography allows us to understand the reasons people live in various regions, how physical features affect the economy of communities, and on a larger scale, global political issues like border disputes, climate change, access to food and clean water, and the spread of diseases, just to name a few. Jumping into the world of geography is as easy as opening a GPS app on your smartphone and putting one foot in front of the other. So what are you waiting for? The world awaits.